Ask credit by. Deleted. What's one type you'll never date again? The type with a partner they didn't tell me about. It's just like a casual thing. Those that invalidate your feelings and are never in the wrong, no matter what. Yup, and then they have the nerve to get angry at you for voicing your opinion. I also will not date girls who try to make me jealous. How am I supposed to know you actually love me if you won't fly into a jealous rage at me blatantly flirting with other men? You're being unreasonable. S. My brother dated one of those. He eventually just let her cheat over and over, ignoring her attempts to stir things up. When she finally got exasperated at his lack of response she broke up with him. I know his spirit was killed a little during that relationship, but she had no idea how stubbornly lazy our family can be. My brother lost the battle, but won the war lol. One-sided and pretty surface level conversation type. Never again. Wow, that's so awesome. Plays on phone. The smartest guy in the room guy. He was a know-it-all and no one could tell him any different. It was insufferable. Actually. Always on the phone type. Sorry what? I am on the phone, replying to someone on Reddit. About being rude on the phone. Closeted. I don't want to be anyone's dirty little secret. 100% this. It's fine if they have no contact with their parents for example, but I don't want to be a secret. Someone who seems like a victim in life. I wanted so badly to help my ex out. To get her out of her shitty living situation. Help her get her finances and medical needs in order. I really stuck my neck out. Gave it 150%. Exhausted myself regularly just so I could help her out. I just wanted to see her quality of life improve. I just wanted her to feel like life was going okay. It was never enough. Eventually she moved in with me, and spent almost a year doing nothing but playing PS4, eating, and sleeping. Didn't even start looking for a job. Eventually I ended it, and a few months later she moved back to her mom's place. The day after, I woke up to literally hundreds of messages from her begging me to take her back. Saying that she'll change. She'll do anything. She had forgotten how much worse her life was. I try to stay friends with her, but she's taken to making herself the victim in our relationship since we broke up. Maybe I wasn't perfect, I can admit that. But I willingly went to hell and back on multiple occasions just to try and make her smile. It crushes me that after everything, she trivializes everything I put into the relationship. This post was longer than I thought, but writing this out was therapeutic. Unfortunately you can't help someone who wouldn't help themselves. Clingy girls. Like for real she made me sit on calls with her for 5 hours at a time and she barely said shit, I wasn't allowed to hang up or she'd have a fucking tantrum, and there's some extra things I'm not going to say here. Deleted. A person that drinks far too much and thinks concern for their health is criticism. On the same tangent, someone who is in control of their gambling. Crunchy festival chicks are like really natural girls but the last one I dated, oof she was fun, charismatic, lots of cool friends, good music taste, affectionate and thoughtful, when she was sober once she got to drinking or worse she turned into a monster constant FOMO, always wanting to go out, you always need to be in the moment. I don't care if you have work tomorrow, Moonsong just got some killer acid and we're going over to her place to trip tonight, I just bought some good blow, you owe me 80 bucks, just not worth it at all. Lol this one is hilarious to me for some reason. Sounds fucking exhausting. The SoundCloud rapper. Lol, this is a new one. Can I ask why? I really should have also added and why to the post. A narcissist. Same. I had a lot of trauma growing up, a lot of codependency issues, which made me an easy mark for narcissists, or at least toxic, 
manipulative dudes. The last one just tried to hoover me back in last month, after ghosting me months ago and right after getting married to some other poor woman. Dude's a fucking mess. Never again. Someone with no hobbies, my wife is an avid writer, she'll gladly be left alone. I've dated someone who made me the person who should entertain them 24 stroke 7. I need my fucking space and my alone time and it just made me depressed and drink way too much because I felt suffocated. Any man who has a mom that is too involved. Update, wow. Thanks for all the likes and stories, folks. This has been super entertaining. I'm glad my lessons can bring some chuckles. Hahaha, <laughs> I remember a friend of mine meeting her partner's mother and she asked super personal questions about their sex life. I couldn't even imagine. The kind that says there's nothing wrong with their mental health even though there obviously is. I've dated the I have issues but don't need therapy type who just self-diagnosed and didn't actually care about therapy at all. They became a living meme. I don't know if this will be controversial or maybe it's obvious, but someone with a drug problem. Yes, maybe it's a disease. No, it doesn't make them a bad person. But it will ruin your life. Not just theirs, yours too 100%. No matter how together you are in your life personally it will seep over into your world. I can absolutely say that this is true. And I am currently fighting my way out of said relationship and have also realized that I have developed a problem of my own. Hence why I am seeking counseling to get help to get out of the relationship. I was one of those I can fix them type of people and I learned that I could not nor will I ever try to again. Someone who pins their happiness on a relationship. No hobbies, friends, doesn't take care of their mental health. As long as I have you it's okay like no take care of yourself. I hate to say it. I was that in my last relationship. In fact the last thing she said right before we broke up was, I'm not your therapist, really made me think about how much pressure I was putting on her to make me give a shit about myself since I never did. The I'm a bad bitch the never ending posturing is unbearable. It's even worse when they aren't afraid to blow up on the spot and become confrontational at petty shit party girls. I don't mind going out myself now and then, but if every single weekend involves you having to go out and get absolutely destroyed, while putting yourself in dangerous situations and with people you don't know well, hard pass. That sounds like my worst nightmare. I don't know how to call a person like this, so I'll give you example instead. XGF said that we should be a separate cell of society. She meant we should have only our friends, our hobbies and we should distance ourselves from parents and etc. I personally think, anyone can have a right on their personal life which is not connected to the relationships. UPD, thanks for every upvote and reply. You're awesome. It sounds like she was isolating you, which is not a good sign. Alcoholics. Just run the actual bad boy drug addicted, drinker I don't give a fuck type. Always abusive a mo and the sex isn't worth the panic attacks and heartache. But he plays the guitar me in my early 20s. Deleted. That doesn't sound like dismissive avoidant, that just sounds like a huge asshole. People with wanderlust. Travel is great but if you can't stay in the same place for longer than a year or so before you have to move somewhere else you need to make sure the person you start dating knows about this. This is an extremely disruptive cycle that is not for everyone. I moved around so much as a child that my only goal is to buy a little house for my daughter and I then never ever leave that house. She's still young, I want her to have a child at home, and I'd like to be able to give her that home when she's grown and started her own life. I'm a princess. Was that also accompanied with if you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best Marilyn Monroe. Wolfman, 
I don't remember what they were called lol you know those men who say that it's okay to cheat on their wife because they are a man. My mind went to furries which I'm sure isn't what you meant. Alphas? People who actually stand things and take it way too far. I feel old. What does it mean to stand something? The cheating type lol. Women who are really into Disney. Or the notebook. I had a relationship end and I shit you not her argument why I wasn't a good boyfriend was because I didn't build a house for her. Edit. Thanks for all the replies and laughs. I'd build houses for all of you though mayo.